things you can start thinking about right now that will make you back to school ready. And here with her checklist, please welcome Julia Green. <laughs> You're the perfect person to talk about this. You've got three kids. You're super busy, um, and it can be a little overwhelming unless you've actually thought things out when it comes to back to school. Absolutely. There's, I sort of have like a little checklist tips that I go through. I sort of go through the order, and we do it each year. Good. So the number one thing I do is you make a budget mm. and a list. Okay. Now, the budget, Tracy, I'm going to say it right here, right now. I do not spend equal amounts on my children at this time. Okay. They're, they're, I know, right? Do they know? They do, but this is yeah. not their birthday. This is not the holiday season. This is back to school. This is like right. at a needs basis. If you have last year's ruler, you're keeping last year's ruler. <laughs> Just as simple as that. And you know what? Some of you will need a laptop. The other and ones will not. Exactly. So and like, let's get over same. it. We cannot make it the same. So yeah. I think as moms, we have that guilt that we think we have to always do it the same. And yes. for back to school shopping, you do not need to. I agree with you. Uh, the next thing that we do is I make the kids make a list of okay. what they actually need. And you can find uh, Staples this season has the star to smart. I list. believe that this is it. And it's, it's so complete. great. It's so great because it's split up between all the grades. What you okay. need for kindergarten, what you need for grade 12. Trust yeah. me, they're not the same. <laughs> exactly. So I make my kids go through that list and then they make their own individual list. Okay. And then we're ready to go, right? Okay. So they keep saying, can we go shopping? I'm like, show me the list and I'll show you the money. Got it. Right? The next thing I do is something that we call shop the closet. Mm. This is a great thing. I love it. It's such a great way of saving money. So what yeah. we do at the end of the season is we pack up their clothes. Not necessarily Necessarily, if they fit or not, we just pack it all up, say goodbye. It hides for about six months. Okay. End of August, we bring it back out again, and it's so much fun unpacking it. The kids are excited. We hang it all up. This doesn't fit okay. you, but it fits me. The overall effect: we just went shopping. Oh, so I didn't spend any big, money. They do the try on. Exactly. You get hand down. It's exactly. all new exactly. And, and if you can get some of your girlfriends to get into this with you, then you've got friends and kids, and you're swapping clothes, cool. and everyone's getting a new wardrobe without spending any money. That's very so. Smart. That works well. Now it comes to spending money. Yes. What I do now is really important is I do a one on one. So I take each kid individually, oh, you which do. may seem overwhelming, but I've done it with all three at the same time. And this guy's going this way, and they want this, and this is this, and everybody's unhappy, and I'm spending money. Yes. This doesn't work. Right. So when you slow it down, everybody gets what they personally need, and it's a wonderful experience. Okay, so you do the three shopping individual trips. days. It becomes a date. It's great. Now, how much are you actually getting for back to school? Are you, is everyone getting? Getting new shoes is everyone well you they, it's all uniforms? individual so you figure out what they need some kids will have uniforms yeah. right but I mean you figure out what each kid needs okay. make that list and then get out there and get there early this is the other one these back to school ads start in July I'm like I'm not it's listening awful. I'm not listening yeah. but you have to listen because this is the best time to get the greatest deals okay. backpacks like this all the sparkly matchy matchy all that so great cool. stuff this won't be around late September I promise you it right. won't be there and like no and all these things these are picked up for 10 cents each Ooh. lost leaders that come out the beginning of the season to get you into the store shopping yes. 10 cents each I picked up 10 for each kid three dollars done the yeah, paper for the smart. year Very so smart. it's you know it's an easy way to get out there and get going okay you know? so this is this is all good I mean I tend to do my back-to-school shopping in like October I know <laughs> I know but if you get you will it's get the better you, you will pants. get the better deals and save more money if you no. let just because you start thinking about back to school in August does not means summer's over. Okay. It's not over yet. As long as you promise. I promise it's not okay, over. Good. Another thing that I like to do as well is start setting the stage. Yeah. So maybe pulling the bedtime back a little bit. Yes. Maybe getting some books at bedtime before, you know, reading before bed. Like my yeah. personal favorite, Why We Don't Eat Our Classmates. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. this is about, you know, all the books you're starting to read are all of a sudden, you know, about back to school. Yes. So subtly doing these things, you know, maybe starting to play in the schoolyard, especially if you've got yes. kids going to school for the first time. You want to go to that playground. You want to know the monkey bars, all that sort of stuff. Right. So that they're getting ready. You know? Yeah. Okay. So do you, are you aware of the teachers they have for next year and where they're going? Some schools, Ish. some schools will, you can, you know that yeah. other times you don't. And that can be a little bit, you know, daunting as well. Right. But I think if they're familiar with the surroundings, even yeah. the walk, right? Just the walk to school and, you know, setting that stage yes. so that you're doing this and you're doing it casually because we're like sneaky little parents here. I we're know. not talking about back to school all the time. No. We're just doing little little things that will get the kids a bit more excited about it. And I think they sense, they, they can really pick up on our
our discomfort. Oh, so it can't absolutely. be a uh, school's coming and we got to get ready. Like, calm down. Calm down. It has to That's be sort of like, a, oh, you know, what do you need? What do you think? What doesn't fit you anymore? Like, exactly. super casual, bit by bit, because we're still on the patio enjoying cocktails. Exactly. Right now. And making it fun. Yes. If they sense the dread, they are going to feel, feel it. The dread. They feel it. Absolutely.